Have you ever wondered, while planning your next adventure, whether your dream destinations are safe for Americans and Westerners? Exploring the world is one of the richest experiences life has to offer, but safety should never be taken lightly. Welcome to Global Destinations, where we not only share the secrets of the world's most stunning destinations, but also equip you with the essential knowledge to stay safe, no matter where you are. Today, we are tackling a crucial and serious topic, the 10 most dangerous countries for Americans and Westerners. Across the globe, there are places of undeniable beauty that also hide unforeseen dangers, from armed conflicts to crime rates, from natural disaster risks to public health challenges. We will not only list these countries, but also provide deep insights into why they are considered dangerous and how you can protect yourself if you unfortunately need or want to visit. At Global Destinations, our goal is not just to ignite your passion for exploration, but to ensure you are fully equipped with the knowledge to master every trip, keeping yourself and your loved ones safe. Join us on this journey and discover what you need to know before setting foot in the world's farthest reaches. Get ready, because this trip will be an adventure like none you've ever experienced before. With Global Destinations, we're not just exploring the world, we're learning to travel smart and safe together. Number 10. Syria. Venturing into Syria is akin to testing your invincibility. This might just be the most crucial advice you'll ever receive. Engulfed in a civil war for nearly a decade, Syria presents a unique yet perilous landscape. Picture this. A multifaceted civil conflict with three to five factions locked in a relentless battle for supremacy. The intrigue of such complexity is undeniable, yet it harbors a stark reality. Imagine navigating the ruins with a local real estate agent in search of a charming, albeit war-torn, residence, only to find yourself amidst an unexpected firefight. Identifying the aggressor becomes a bewildering challenge. The U.S. State Department starkly outlines the grim reality. No part of Syria is safe from violence. The threats of kidnapping, arbitrary detention, chemical attacks, bombings, and the decimation of essential infrastructure significantly heighten the risk of death or severe injury. The widespread destruction has further exacerbated the suffering within the nation. In essence, the advice stands clear and unambiguous. Steer clear of Syria. Number 9. Burkina Faso Let's clear the air first. Burkina Faso isn't a figment of imagination. It's a bona fide country nestled in West Africa, flanked by Mali and Ghana. Home to around 20 million souls, it's a place where the vast majority, about 98%, grapple with poverty. Unless the allure of endless dirt roads calls to you, relocating here might not be on your agenda. However, if ticking Burkina Faso off your travel list tempts you, heed this caution from the State Department. Terrorist groups are actively planning assaults within Burkina Faso, launching attacks unpredictably. It begs the question, do terrorists schedule their atrocities like appointments? Let's set next Thursday for that explosion. It seems their modus operandi includes striking without warning. Potential targets span across hotels, eateries, police stations, customs offices, mining vicinities, religious sites, military bases, and educational institutions. Essentially, no place is off-limits for these perpetrators. They're indiscriminate in their threats of violence. Kidnappings and hostage situations are rampant, posing a constant danger. A glimmer of hope shone through on May 10, 2019, when a daring rescue operation successfully liberated four international hostages from their captors in Burkina Faso. Amidst this turmoil, the government has declared a state of emergency across most of the nation, presumably excluding those arid regions even camels avoid. Number 8. South Sudan Nestled in the heart of East Central Africa, South Sudan is a landlocked marvel with a population of around 12 million, it once featured in my rundown of the world's most challenging airports, primarily due to its unconventional restroom facilities, a tent over a trench, believe it or not. This atoupe is periodically relocated, embodying the lack of indoor plumbing that's all too common here. A local once shared with me a poignant, if stark, philosophy, water is for drinking, not for pooping, seemingly a guiding principle in these parts.
The U.S. State Department paints a grim picture of South Sudan, highlighting rampant violent crimes including carjackings, shootings, ambushes, assaults, robberies, and kidnappings that pervade the country. Female foreign nationals in particular face grave risks, subjected to unspeakable acts too severe to detail here, for fear of censorship. The streets, when you can navigate them, are rife with armed robberies and violence, a reflection of the ongoing armed conflict fueled by political and ethnic strife. Firearms are disturbingly accessible to civilians, exacerbating the frequency of cattle raids that often escalate into violence over stolen livestock. Furthermore, the media landscape is fraught with danger, unauthorized reporting is illegal, and journalists face severe harassment, with many losing their lives in the line of duty. In essence, South Sudan presents a myriad of reasons to reconsider any travel plans. Number 7. Yemen Yemen has long stood off the radar for tourists, and for reasons that are far from appealing. Situated on the Arabian Peninsula, bordered by Oman to the east, Saudi Arabia to the north, and the Gulf of Aden to the south, Yemen's history is steeped in conflict, dating back to medieval times. The Yemen Revolution, part of the broader Arab Spring movements in early 2011, initially sought to address unemployment, economic woes, and rampant corruption. It also aimed to counter government plans to amend the constitution, enabling a hereditary presidency, a move away from democratic elections towards a quasi-monarchical system, which unsurprisingly met with public resistance. In a tragic turn, March 2011 saw police snipers attack a pro-democracy camp, resulting in over 50 fatalities. Indeed, a grim chapter in Yemen's history. Before you dial your travel agent, perhaps review your life insurance policy. The U.S. State Department's advisory on Yemen is stark. Do not travel to Yemen due to terrorism, civil unrest, health risks, kidnappings, armed conflict, and landmines. Since the U.S. Embassy in Sana'a ceased operations in February 2015, American citizens find themselves without governmental emergency services. Essentially, travelers to Yemen are left to fend for themselves. The advisory continues, highlighting the ongoing threat from terrorist groups that execute attacks with little to no warning, targeting public spaces, transportation hubs, markets, and government buildings. The risk of kidnapping and detention by various hostile entities is significant, with Western organization employees particularly vulnerable. The military conflict has ravaged infrastructure, limiting access to electricity, clean water, and medical care. This devastation complicates the efforts of humanitarian organizations to provide essential services. Landmines and cholera further exacerbate Yemen's dire situation, with medical resources scarce and often inadequate. If the message wasn't clear already, Yemen is a destination to avoid. Number 6. Venezuela Relations between the U.S. and Venezuela have been strained, to put it mildly. In a move reminiscent of a social media fallout, the U.S. metaphorically unfriended Venezuela on Facebook not too long ago. Specifically, on March 11, 2019, the U.S. Department of State made the significant decision to evacuate all diplomatic staff from its embassy in Caracas, halting both routine and emergency services indefinitely. The advisory from the State Department on Venezuela is stark, highlighting the rampant violent crime, Homicides, armed robberies, kidnappings, and carjackings are sadly commonplace. Political gatherings and protests are frequent, often springing up with scant warning. These demonstrations tend to provoke a heavy-handed response from police and security forces, employing tear gas, pepper spray, water cannons, and rubber bullets. Such confrontations can spiral into looting and vandalism. Venezuela is grappling with severe shortages of essentials like food, electricity, water, medicine, and medical supplies. Back in 2018, the U.S. CDC escalated its travel warning to Venezuela to Level 3, advising against non-essential travel due to the crumbling healthcare system and medical infrastructure. The situation in Venezuela has been dire for quite some time and continues to deteriorate. Despite fading from the forefront of news coverage, overshadowed by other global events, the plight of Venezuelans remains acute. It's a clear message. Avoid traveling to Venezuela, not just for your own safety, but to avoid contributing to the ongoing crisis. Number 5. Mali. Mali, 
an enigmatic landlocked nation in Africa, remains a mystery to many. Perhaps you've heard a bit about it, yet there's a chance you've dismissed that knowledge as myth, leaving you feeling like you know nothing at all. Confused? Let me clarify. Mali boasts the legendary city of Timbuktu, a place as real as it is mythical, perched on the edge of the Sahara Desert. Venturing here means bracing yourself against the merciless sun and the threat of dehydration or heat stroke, so pack plenty of sunscreens and hydrating drinks like Gatorade. And don't forget lip balm. Trust me. Cracked lips are the last thing you want when battling the desert's harsh conditions. The U.S. State Department's advice on Mali is straightforward and sobering. Don't go there. The country is plagued by violent crimes, including kidnappings and armed robberies, particularly around local holidays and seasonal events in Bamako, the capital. Nighttime brings its own set of challenges, with roadblocks and corrupt police checkpoints a common sight. Terrorist and armed groups are a constant threat, scheming kidnappings and assaults with little to no warning. They're targets. Nightclubs, hotels, restaurants, places of worship, essentially anywhere Westerners might gather. The Federal Aviation Administration has even imposed restrictions on civil aviation operations within Mali, making it clear that flying into the country is fraught with risks. In essence, Mali presents a tapestry of cultural richness, shadowed by contemporary perils. Number 4. Iraq It might seem obvious, but it bears repeating, Iraq is a place to avoid. Remarkably, there was a time when it felt safer during international conflicts than it does now. The U.S. State Department's advisory is crystal clear. Do not travel to Iraq due to terrorism, kidnapping, and armed conflict. Americans in Iraq face a severe risk of violence and abduction. The country is a hotbed for terrorist and insurgent activity, with attacks frequently targeting both security forces and civilians. Anti-U.S. militia groups pose a significant threat to American citizens and Western entities across Iraq. The use of improvised explosive devices, IEDs, is rampant, including in Baghdad and other regions. The situation escalated on December 31, 2019, when the U.S. Embassy suspended all public services indefinitely following an attack by Iranian-backed terrorists on its compound. The advisory further cautions U.S. citizens against traveling through Iraq to Syria to participate in armed conflict, highlighting the extreme dangers of kidnapping, injury, or death, in addition to legal repercussions such as arrest, fines, and deportation. The Kurdish regional government has warned of imposing up to 10 years in prison for those caught crossing the border illegally. Moreover, engaging with or supporting terrorist groups is a serious offense that could lead to imprisonment and hefty fines in the United States. In summary, the risks and legal implications make Iraq a place to steer clear of entirely. Number 3. China the global health crisis, widely known but delicately referred to here as the beer illness to navigate around content restrictions, has put a spotlight on China. This cautious approach is understandable, aiming to prevent the spread of misinformation that could occur if the situation were sensationalized. The U.S. State Department has issued a stark warning. Do not travel to China due to the beer illness first being identified in China. This came after the World Health Organization declared the outbreak a public health emergency of international concern on January 30th. Travelers have been caught off guard by sudden travel restrictions, with many commercial airlines scaling back or halting flights to and from China altogether. For those currently in China, the situation is particularly challenging, with limited options for departure. The advice for U.S. citizens in China is to minimize social interactions and avoid public gatherings as much as possible. Preparing for the worst, they are advised to stockpile necessities to reduce the need to venture outside. The capacity of the U.S. embassy and consulates to assist American nationals in China could be severely constrained. The situation is dire, with the potential for further deterioration or, conversely, a resolution still uncertain. The world watches and waits hopeful for a positive turn, but braced for challenges ahead. Number 2. Iran For those who haven't kept up with international relations since around 1970, it's no secret that Iran and the United States have been at odds. 
Iran's disapproval extends to many aspects of American culture, including the freedoms enjoyed by women, such as driving and dressing as they choose, as well as universally enjoyed pastimes like dating, movie-going, and even bowling, which might come as a surprise. An interpreter once shared with me a childhood memory from Iran, where school videos depicted the U.S. as the epitome of evil, often showcasing Americans engaging in bowling. This portrayal, oddly enough, sparked a fascination among him and his peers, who grew up dreaming of bowling in the U.S. The tension between the U.S. and Iran has been palpable for decades, escalating further after the U.S. military action that resulted in the death of a top Iranian general. The State Department has issued a stern warning. Do not travel to Iran due to the high risk of kidnapping, arbitrary arrests, and detention of U.S. citizens. The advisory underscores the heightened caution due to health concerns, including the beer illness. U.S. citizens, including those visiting or residing in Iran, have faced kidnapping, arrests, and detention on spurious charges. Iranian authorities have a track record of unjustly detaining U.S. citizens, particularly those with dual Iranian-American nationality, including students, journalists, business travelers, and academics, on accusations of espionage and threatening national security. Moreover, Iran often hampers consular access to detained U.S. citizens and outright denies it to dual nationals. In essence, the situation in Iran is fraught with complexity and hostility. The government's actions reflect a deep-seated animosity towards the U.S., complicating the safety of Americans within its borders. With ongoing allegations of Iran's involvement in planning attacks against U.S. interests, the advice is clear. Steer clear of Iran. And topping the list at number one, Haiti. It's hard to recall any positive news emerging from Haiti in recent years, the country seems to be spiraling out of control, with its government appearing to have lost its grip on the nation. Beyond the societal turmoil, Haiti has been battered by devastating natural disasters, including severe earthquakes and hurricanes, leaving the island in ruins. The U.S. State Department's advisory couldn't be clearer. Do not travel to Haiti due to crime, civil unrest, and kidnappings. Violent crimes such as armed robbery and carjacking are rampant. Kidnappings are a significant concern, with both well-orchestrated schemes and opportunistic abductions reported, affecting even U.S. citizens. The streets are often scenes of demonstrations, tire burnings, and roadblocks, which can escalate into violence unpredictably. The local police force is overwhelmed and under-resourced, struggling to respond to serious incidents. Emergency services, including ambulances, are scarce or non-existent. Travelers have been violently assaulted and robbed shortly after departing the international airport, prompting the U.S. Embassy to mandate official transportation for its personnel to and from the airport. Traffic jams become hunting grounds for robbers and carjackers, with isolated drivers, particularly women on their own, being prime targets. So, that wraps up my rundown of places to steer clear of. I hope this list has been enlightening and that it helps you make safer travel decisions. If you were considering visiting any of these locations, it might be wise to rethink your plans for the sake of your safety. Remember to check out the links below, subscribe if you appreciate our content, and give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Wishing everyone a fantastic day. Let's all strive to be kind to one another.